So if you're looking out for a structured DS algo course, I must say you're on the correct channel. So in this video, I'll be telling you how to learn DS algo from A to Z in depth. Yes. So first of all, where to learn? Not on the YouTube channel because it is not structured. You'll have to head over to the website takeyouforward.org. You might be seeing it on the screen. The UI might be different uh, some months down the line, but doesn't matter. Which course is it? There's something as A to Z DSA course. Open it up. It has 455 modules covering 18 or 19 topics. Every topic has sub modules, like sub parts as well. So there are a bunch of problems that you will be solving in this particular course. Is it paid? No, it is absolutely free and it covers a lot more problems than what the paid courses will do. You can buy any of the paid courses and you can have a comparison done as well. So the next question, how do you get the best output of this particular course? First of all, the course has like every topic has some theory and every topic has some problems, rather a lot of problems. For the theory part, what I will say is watch out the videos. Just watch out the videos and do not dive deep. Just know the topic and then start solving problems because in DS Algo, like theory is not that important. Solving problems is important because that will help you to develop the problem solving ability. Got it? So watch out the videos. Do not dive much and then start solving problems step-wise. Pick up a problem according to the step. Try out that problem. Now when I'm saying try out that problem means if you have an extreme naive solution, extreme brute solution, hit it. Convert your thought process into the code, write it and submit it. Doesn't work, doesn't matter. Read the blocks. There are blocks attached to every problem and solutions are categorized if a problem has multiple solutions, you'll find categorized. So you can read out all of them. If you're not able to understand, watch out the videos. And for every problem that you're not able to understand or there is something new, create notes so that you can revise afterwards, right? And then again, retry whatever solution you have learned. Retry it without watching the video, without watching the blog. Retry it. This should be your method of learning. Got it? And this is how you can get the best output, but in order to get a accelerated output, what I will recommend you is to get a mentor from pre-placed. Now pre-placed is a website which offers amazing mentors, the mentors who are working at fan companies or India's top product based companies. So if you get a mentor, what will happen is they will have a personalized roadmap along with DSA system design, low level design, whatever you require, they'll give you a personalized roadmap and they'll have a deadline check. One week for arrays. After one week, hey, did you complete arrays? Let's have a small test. After that, we'll be giving you a lot of resources on system design, low level design, DS algo, and other things, project ideas. Since these people work in the industry, they know how everything works. So they'll be giving you project ideas as well. After that, once you're prepared, you will be able to have mock interviews with them before the real interview. Resume reviews. According to the jobs that you're applying, you can ask them to review your resumes. You can have referrals from them as well and from their friends as well. And right at the end, you can have a personalized uh, discount code from them. So if you are liking a mentor, ask them for a discount coupon code. They will be giving you. If they do not, you can use Striver 1000 for an extra 1000 credits. So I'll be leaving out the link in the description. You can book a free trial session with any of the mentor. It's absolutely free. Go and check it out. So let's head over to the next part, covered to right, scam. So there is a lot of misinformation in the market because it's not paid. It's, it's actually taking down a lot of businesses. As I said, we have 90 lakh visits on this course in the last 1.5 years. So first of all, the first thing that everyone is saying is this course is in C++. Absolute garbage, absolute nonsense. So I have one video, the initial video that, that says C++ in one shot. That's it. That's it. I haven't made the video Java in one shot. But apart from this video, you pick up any topic. I'm throwing an open challenge. Pick up any topic. Arrays, trees, DP, graphs, any of the topics. You'll find that I write pseudo code. I don't write code in C++ Java. And in my blogs, we are attaching blogs 
nodes to every problem. We will find C++, Java, Python, JavaScript codes. So we are not teaching C++, Java. The entire course is in pseudo code. Pseudo code. You are focusing on problem solving. Right? And the second thing is, it's not beginner friendly. This is something which everyone, like the influencers are spreading to because it's a free course. So what I'll ask you to do is, I'll not say anything. Reach out to any of your seniors who are who got recently placed. Ask them, hey, there's this guy Striver. Should we follow him? Should we follow the Striver's A to Z DSA course? You can find reviews on Google. You can find reviews on Twitter, LinkedIn, anywhere you wish to. Post a tweet. People will tell you the reviews of this course. Do not ask an influencer or anyone who is running a business around this one. Got it? It is absolutely beginner friendly. That is why it has 455 modules. But I start from easy, then go to medium, and then I cover a lot of advanced problems. With a lot of paid courses in the market, or a lot of free courses in the market, what they do is, they cover a basic, easy, in-depth. And when it comes to medium and hard, they tend to skip. You can pick up any of the free DSA courses. They will end up at uh, 170, 180, 200 at max. And they'll be skipping the advanced problems, or they'll be doing three or four of them. But over here in our course, we do a bunch of advanced problems. So, it is tough, but in order to exceed, you need to do tougher things. Got it? We need to solve all 455. The answer to that is no. Technically, this course has around 250 to 300 concepts or problems. For every concept, I have multiple problems. So, if you're understanding a concept, this might have a four fall, like four follow-up problems. So you can solve two and you can skip the rest too. That is your wish. It's not necessary to solve 455. I've given them for practice for your betterment. Got it? The next thing, along with the course, what else should you do? One thing is an absolute must. Contest. Head over to Lead Code. So basically Lead Code, there's a website as Lead Code. Head over to Code Forces. Give every contest. So there is something in the market that like a lot of beginners think that I should learn everything and then I should start appearing for contest. Do not do that. You know basic programming, start appearing on the contest. Even if you're able to solve one problem, that is absolutely fine. Give every contest for the next two years. Give every contest along with learning DS algo. Two years down the line, you'll come back and say me, you were correct. Giving contests actually helped me to learn because you'll face a lot of new concepts, a lot of new unseen problems. So you'll learn a lot, lot more. Got it? So I'll be leaving out the link of this particular A to Z DSA course in the description. I'll be leaving out the link of pre-placed. You can book a, a free trial with any of the mentors you wish to and get onboarded with them. If you haven't followed me on social media, I'll be leaving out all the social media handles in the description as well. With this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Make sure to follow the website, not the YouTube channel. With this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Let's meet in some other video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.